human chain that's being organized to open the kind of protests for the climate summit. Tell us a bit more what we're seeing. So what we're seeing is a street that really should be filled with hundreds of thousands of people. That was the plan that was going to happen. In fact, organizers thought there might even be a million people here. Um, it was going to be uh, a show uh, of strength, a show of pressure, um, because this is the beginning of the UN Climate Summit. This is the beginning of, of, of COP21. And, it, and, and the French government has banned protests, marches, demonstrations, anything that anything that is an outdoor activity with a political message. Um, so people have been trying to figure out how they can make their voices heard anyway. And what's amazing is that we, um, there are 5,000 people who have lined the sidewalk. They're not in the street, so they're saying it's not a march. Um, but obviously it is a political demonstration. So this is, um, it's really a show of courage, frankly. It's a show of courage in the face of um, an incredible display of state repression that, that we've seen over the past few days where there have been uh, climate uh, activists who have been preemptively arrested because they were seen as potential troublemakers. We've seen um, you know, activist houses raided with a uh, you know, real show of police force. Nobody knew what to expect um, in coming out today, so I think it's really significant that they came anyway. Um, and, you know, it, uh, part, part of what we're hearing is people saying, yes, um, se security matters, but all security matters, human security matters, um, and, and, and lives are being lost because of climate inaction, and those lives matter. Those lives matter just as much. Um, so it's really, um, in part, it's, 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 it's encircling, it's, it's enlarging this circle of mourning, um, uh, but also saying our message is too important um, uh, to, you know, to stay home and be obedient in this moment that requires courage. We know that governments are coming to the table with completely inadequate emissions, emissions that lead us down the road to, a, to, a, to catastrophic warming. We know that they don't even, some of the leaders, including the United States and Canada, don't even want those paltry targets to be legally binding. And we can't stay silent in the face of that. Excellent. The slogan is climate justice now more than ever, I'd say. All right. Exactly. Okay. <laughs>